Todd, he's not allowed to speak in the courtroom, in his own defence, not allowed to speak. Does that increase the level of support that he gets because it's seen as unfair. 100%. I think he needs to ride that throughout this primary season and into the general, assuming he's the nominee. But we had Alina Haba on. You saw her in the pictures there, yep. Trump's attorney. We had her on earlier this morning before she headed to court. And she made the following point, which I thought was astounding. There are certain limits you, within a closing argument, okay? You can't go beyond the evidence that was presented at trial. But I asked her point blank. If this is the closing argument that you are allowed to do and you are planning on doing, could Donald J. Trump deliver the exact same close based upon the judge's order? And she said, no, that's atrocious. That's atrocious. That cannot happen. And to me, that's grounds for appeal. He's just not allowed to make a closing statement. Because he gave a bunch of, of, of conditions that Trump would have to abide by, and they were beyond the realm of, of just not attacking the court clerk. They were very, they were very onerous onerous restrictions that Trump wouldn't agree to. Alina Hoppe said she would not allow her client, Donald J. Trump, to deliver a close based upon those onerous conditions and said, we're not going to do it. And the judge said, okay, you're not allowed. That's wrong. That, that is grossly unfair. Yes. And here's another example, which I think is unfairness. There's another state that's about to decide on whether or not Trump can get on the ballot. Which state are we talking about? Yeah, not really a shock here. Oregon, pretty liberal oh. state. It could be the next state to remove Trump from the ballot. A liberal advocacy group, Free Speech for People, filed the Oregon lawsuit just last month uh, directly with the state's top court. They skipped everybody. They just went to the Supreme Court, citing the 14th Amendment. Decision on that could come any moment, literally while we're on air. Now, you recall Colorado Supreme Court, Maine Secretary of State, removed Trump from the ballot, while Michigan and Minnesota's top courts threat Doesn't similar matter. suits. It's just wrong. But this, this is all going to go it, to the Supreme Court. It has to. Their primary is in May. Yeah. Trump will have it wrapped up by then. But it doesn't matter. But this is going to be decided by the Supreme Court in the coming weeks. It has to. Literally, the th democracy threat. Democracy can't stand unless the Supreme Court addresses this and addresses it 9 nothing for Trump going forward. I suggest that Trump's uh, approval rating is going to go up. 100%. His support level goes up from here on out. 2024 is the election of the victim. Donald Trump is the victim in the eyes of many voters because of Just what's happening in the court cases. And many Democrats feel like victims because they're living under policies of New York, California, and D.C. Okay, fair point. Thanks, Lauren.